And we are at Thai Parks Iguana Land. Now, Iguana Land is actually going to be really the world's largest reptile zoo. It's down in Punta Gorda. I'm going to put all the link in the description and stuff like that. And we are going to see it. It's not open yet. So it's going to be open, I believe, in September, the end of September, and then October fully open. But this place is incredible. It's been working out for a long time. I cannot wait to see. I mean, look at all of these outdoor enclosures, and they have so much stuff going on. Today is going to be an absolute banger. Can I look at it? Iguana Land? Ooh, doggy. I I've been waiting a long time to come down and see the progress on this place. Cannot imagine what we're gonna to see today, so buckle up, it's gonna be awesome. Mural, oh my gosh, this is cool. This is something that I'd like to add more to the outside of our buildings too, is murals like that. That is absolutely wonderful. So of course, I'm here with my friend Ty Park. Thank you so much for having us, Ty. Oh, it's man. awesome. Welcome. Savannah, Danny, Jay's over here. We're having a great time. So uh, we're just gonna walk around. Give me the tour. Let's All go. All right. This you place is you crazy. So we gonna, we're walking into our Chelonian Center. Actually, I'm looking for somebody to sponsor this area. Okay. Um, Like a naming right kind of thing. Gotcha, and I'll put a link in the description to everything guys if you are interested in helping out with tie and anything this is an amazing place i'll have all the links in the description you can see on the left side we have these um enclosures about half land half aquatic uh, they're all um have its own filter system we are adding constantly right now so i think aquatic turtle wise I say we're pushing 100 species. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. a lot. Wow. But I want to end up with about half of the world species wow. here, which means about 180 species. Oh, oh, oh. So that's, that's what we're going to end up with. So this is Geo. Geo is gorgeous. Geo is a male parenti. I think he's about maybe five or six years old. Oh my gosh. So we've been coming down here, Danny and I, and doing a little bit of training with them, and they've gotten really, really great at being handled. But that doesn't mean it's not gonna bite you, but we'll try okay. it. <laughs> I don't want, hey, listen, it'd be a, a pleasure to get bit by something. I like this. know, right? Of course, this is the largest monitored lizard in Australia. It's actually the Varanus giganticus, is actually its technical name. And definitely one of the most spectacular animals. I mean, just look, as a matter of fact, I have, look at, I've got his brother on my I arm. I have one too. Oh, see, see my parenti? We both have parenti. <laughs> so, parenti tattoos are a must when you're into monitored lizards. Uh, but just look at, I mean, it's like that color on his chin and that neck is almost like painted on i mean it's absolutely a ridiculous animal obviously these guys are very adept at climbing you can see with those big old claws and stuff like that uh but they're also really fast on the ground too so it's very unusual to be able to interact with them something like this in this country this is probably the only opportunity i'm ever going to get i have had the opportunity in australia to right. mess with these guys a couple times but here in the country savannah when geo first came here you know, Ty has a great house housing set up for him, but uh, when I came back to visit like a week later, when we went in, we couldn't find him anywhere. We oh. were freaking out. So what I think a lot of people don't recognize is that they're really great diggers. Oh, and so he man. dug a burrow <laughs> like oh my underneath. Remember Ty, he was underneath. Oh and we were like, where is he at? Oh my gosh. Get a shovel. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is amazing. But this is, this is, uh, wow, this is, a dream come true That's right here, guys. That's the dream right there. That is the dream. One day, one day, maybe, maybe, hopefully. Yeah, what are you doing? Uh, well, <laughs> I wanted to see if he was friendly, but I think now, he's now you're in a predicament. I think you're friend. It's friendly. You Look, it is super it. friendly. Hi. Look it. Hi, little monkey. Hi there. You just thought there was food, right? Of course, a white throat monitor like our grits over here, but this one is uh, this one's actually really beautiful. Could be because that natural light really does change the the total outlook of animals. But wow, that is an absolute beautiful. Oh gosh, just look at it. And again, it looks like I think this looks like a little girl. To be totally honest with you, and they have pretty powerful claws. Hey, little monkey, what are you doing? <laughs> ah, look at this. I think I made a friend. What are you doing over there? Hi. How's it going? <laughs> Savannah, you Hi got a friend. There. I know, I love making friends. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. Do you want a stick? Nope. You want to get okay. Yeah! Ouch. Good job, Brian. Good Here job. Go. Here you go, Danny. Wow. 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 
It's your snake, Danny. What do you mean it's my snake? It's it looks like Brian's snake. It's your snake. Thanks, Danny. Oh, this, this is, is a one of my beautiful snake. Just have to gain her trust a little bit. See? So you want this animal for Gatorland? Gatorland? Yes. Yeah. You got it. Nice. <laughs> what do you think, Anna? Well, that's going to be a great animal at Gatorland. <laughs> Whatever you say. I think, I think sometimes people forget how wild animals behave. So this will be a good example of that. Of course, this is Tinocerus pectinata, but these are the banana phase, which are these beautiful yellow colors. I tell you, what, all the spiny tails here are incredible. Ty, would you say you have the most Tinosaurus? I mean, you've got everything, right? You've got everything. If it's legal. Yeah, you've got it, exactly. Wow. I mean, and again, they're really, they come in a lot of different colors, flavors, sizes, stuff like that. I love the banana, and then the pies are absolutely ridiculous, too. And then, of course, these are actually the pie pectinata, or what they sometimes call the panda pectinata as well. And it's a, just a, like a piebald, spiny tail iguana. I mean, look at that. And they can be variable as well. Sometimes they have a super high white, sometimes they have just a little bit of white. That is just an absolutely crazy cool animal. I mean, look at how cool. That's wild, you know what I mean? And that's the thing about iguana land. There's a lot of great iguana. But as you guys can see, it's not just about the iguanas here. There is a ton of cool animals. You guys know that I am all about fiscal responsibility and being smart with your money. But the truth is, is that we've all had issues where sometimes we get over our head with credit cards, something like that. Well, right now, there's actually a company that we've teamed up with called Upstart that can maybe help you with some of that. Upstart is actually a company where you can actually pay your debt off online really quick and simple. Whether you're paying off your credit card debt, a personal loan, whatever you happen to be, over a half million people have actually used Upstart upstart to get really good interest rate loans. And unlike other lenders, upstart actually uses AI to get you actually the best possible loan. So basically they don't just look at your credit history, they look at all kinds of stuff like your income, your employment history, so on like that, really making sure that they find the right loan for you. And that just means you can get smarter rates with better lenders. With just a five minute rate check, you can get your rate up front and actually get anywhere from a thousand to fifty thousand dollars. And you can get that loan as quick as one day. Again, I am all about fiscal responsibility. But if you have high interest rate debt, Upstart could be a great opportunity for you to kind of take care of that and get back in control. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash Brian B. That's upstart.com slash Brian B. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Uh, you could actually see the egg she's playing right now. You see the egg? soft and kind of squishy so they have been literally just been laid. She still has some more in there, no? Or do you think she's done? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah. She's not done yet. Yeah, she's not done? Yeah, I don't think okay. she's done just yet. So we're gonna go ahead and leave this girl alone because we don't want her to set her and have her bind up on any eggs. But that is an amazing experience to see a Lewis High hybrid actually in the, the midst of laying. I mean, that's incredible. So let's go ahead back out of here just so we don't mess with this girl too much. Now we want to take a step further and yep. do a lot more education. Yes. That's why I wanted to open this to public. Yeah. Well, well, you know, you know that. I yes, mean, education sure. is very important. It, education leads to conservation. Right. Yeah. Uh, plus, it's very unique. We have a very unique place here where we could do a uh, lot of research. Yes. Because, like for instance, if you want to do research in rock iguana, I have hundreds here. Yeah. Where if you, if you go to the island, uh, yeah, you if you, if, even you would draw blood, for instance, yeah. you got to get CITES permit right. to ship them into the U.S. That yeah. takes years sometimes. Right. So they could come here, yeah, do, all do the their work. blood work, and be done in a couple of months where they had they take a couple of years. Exactly. So we're gonna head over to the rock iguana section. I'm excited about this and it looks amazing, by the way, just even from here. I know you've been working hard on it. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is cool. It's like you're walking yeah. into Disney World. Yeah, I kinda like that, but better. These but better guys than... are these guys are craftsmen, right? They are craftsmen. Yeah. Oh my uh, gosh. Yeah. Van and Brendan from uh hey guys, uh, how are you? A studio. This is Brian. Hi, good Hi. to meet you guys. Yeah, Amazing I mean, work. This area here has seven cages like this. So is that going to go all the way down then? Right, all the oh way down. Oh my to gosh. That. And you have seven cyclo species. Oh, so so each species. Oh, seven. that's They're awesome. All, so it will be a cyclo center. Oh yeah, that's awesome. And they'll be very unique. I don't think any zoo would. Yeah, I don't think there any zoo have more than three species. Wow, and you'll have seven. Right. We're actually. I'm pushing for eight because that's oh, all the species that's in the all US. Ah, oh, gotcha. Okay, so I want to. Which one are you missing species now? Species that's not in the US are not 
gonna, you know, we're not yeah, gonna yeah, part yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, so basically, we'll, uh, the Jamaican iguana is one. Oh, okay, that, Jamaican iguana. Yeah, you got that we need to acquire. And other than that, we have got all, all the, the species other. that's oh. in the U.S. Wow. Wow, this is amazing. Isn't this cool, Jake? Dude, unreal. This is unreal. Awesome. Joe is uh, Oh my gosh, Joe, that's amazing. So Joe, who he works here at Iguana Land, and what are you going to show me right now? Uh, right now, I'm going to show you our Anagata iguanas. Mm -hmm. This is Cyclera penguis. This is uh, our little female, one of our two females, and this is one of our three males. His Ooh. name is Gus. Gus, nice. He's, he's, got, he's putting up a fuss over there, Gus. Fussy, oh, Gussy. Fussy, Gussy. So you said these are the rarest of the Cyclera in the, uh, in the country? I think so, yes. Yeah, absolutely. In the USA, they are. Wow. Yeah. So there are 13 of them in the whole USA. Wow. And uh, this is a program that we're doing with Fort Worth Zoo. Fort Worth Zoo. Okay, so basically, um, we have five of the 13 in, in, in our facility. Uh, and we have out of those, uh, we have two females. Actually, there is only four females left in the USA oh, right wow. now. So, yeah, so, yeah. so yeah, this is a uh, very important program for me. Uh, we want to produce as many as possible, yeah. and we're gonna probably uh, pot repopulate a um, Puerto Rico island uh -huh. that's ready for them. The youth occur there. And now um, they don't. They do not. Okay. I think a thousand years ago that this species is still there, right. but they're extinct from that island. And our idea is to uh, get the babies and, and put them back, repopulate wow. that island. That's amazing. Have you had any success yet? Uh, we just only had them for four months. Oh, four yeah. months. So, so I'm hoping she'd grab it. It looks like 50 50 chance that she might lay some fertile eggs. Um, it's very difficult species to uh, produce. I think last one they produced was um, in the USA as a whole. Uh, the Jews have produced one in the last nine, I think nine years ago they oh produced God. one. Eight. And one. before that, I think you have to go back to 20 years. Oh my goodness. So I think that's one of the reasons why they're here. Yeah, because um, you do I so went, well. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> they feel so weird. It's like sweet. Like so yeah, yeah. Oh. He's been tamed uh, at San Diego Zoo. He was, oh he's come from San Diego oh Zoo. Wow. And he's been uh, target trained and everything. So he's very, oh. very friendly. Yeah, that he, is the color. come in here, they hear that come, come yeah, approach come you and stuff. So. That is amazing. I mean, it is so different than the Lewis I or, or iguanas. It's, it's like suede, form. right? So this is actually this like Cyclera Recordi, very rare rock iguanas. I mean, unbelievable. This is uh, this is amazing, Ty, that you even have these. Uh, yeah. That is incredible. This is the boy. That's a male and that's a female, I think. And this is the girl. Oh, she's full of, full of eggs. You can see, oh my goodness gracious. Of course, he's not very happy. He's like, leave my girl alone. Stay exactly. away. He is, protect <laughs> he is protecting. He's, he's, he's protecting. That's okay, little one. I promise I'm not going to do anything. But yeah. the amazing thing is, is look at this enclosure here. This, believe it or not, is cement. I mean, everything in here is cement. Looks like a log. I mean, obviously, this isn't cement. But the rest and then the painting in here is absolutely wonderful. Yeah, and actually painted. Hand painted. Yeah. Hand painted. Unbelievable. This is attention to detail like you can't believe. And no wonder why the record I are doing so well in here because this is absolutely a beautiful tie. Wow. It's incredible. And you're going to have eggs soon. That's impressive. That's impressive. Take a look at the size of this Lewis I hybrid right here. Of course, this is just like my girl Tiana, but this, of course, is a, a boy, so they get that beautiful blue in them and are absolutely incredible and get much larger as well. I mean, this is an absolute piece. That's like a little prehistoric dinosaur. I mean, this thing is ridiculous, Ty. And this is your pet, huh? Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. How long have you had him? Cooper. I had him. I've about 12 years. About 12 years. Yeah. Oh, gosh. So he's still got a long way to go, though, too. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But he's uh, probably about uh, 16 now. And you have some even more blue ones that are just ridiculous. Yeah, I do. I do have that. I mean, every year I try to keep back the bluest ones, yeah. all right, and then produce from them. What I want to do with this species is these are hybrids, right? And I think they make great pets if they, you take care of them, right? Yeah. And they live six years, yeah. right? I mean, 56 years. So it's perfect pet. In my opinion, <laughs> reptile I agree lover, with you. right? But having said that, what that has to do with conservation? Well, first of all, you have these animals available readily; they're not going to be taken out of the wild, right? Yeah. right? So, for for that that region, it is part of conservation. Sure. And more than that, I just want people to get to know this species, yeah. right? And unless you know that animal, you're not going to try to you know, protect them and yeah. stuff. It's very important. Yeah, people yeah. protect what they love. Yeah. Exactly yeah. my point. This is Donkey Kong. He is uh, a rhino iguana. He is uh, 25 years old, about 25 years old. 
Ty's had him for about 15 years. Wow. He is a... Uh, He's just a big sweetheart. Oh my gosh, yeah. And what you guys may not know, you know we have Diddy and Dixie. Well, Donkey Kong is actually the lineage of Diddy and Dixie. So this is the whole patriarch of that entire line. So you just think one day Diddy is gonna get this size. That is so, oh, you okay? What was that? <laughs> So can you imagine that one day they're gonna it's gonna be this I mean that is the cutest thing in the world and just absolutely amazing And it's just cool to see where Diddy and Dixie's line actually came from of course Donkey Kong again Definitely having a really great time here. Of course the Florida rain hits every day uh, That's just the way it goes. So we got a little bit of wet But now we are back to beautiful day here and I tell you it's so inspiring I mean, Just look at these amazing animals sailfin dragons I mean just everything is so cool and I can really see his vision, you know, the place isn't done yet You know, it's got a ways to go but I can see his vision I understand his vision and I really appreciate that vision for sure because it's pretty absolutely amazing when this place is completely done it's gonna be ridiculous I mean it's gonna be sailor again I don't know any other zoo in the world that is gonna be this many acres of actual reptiles so I think this is the largest reptile zoo in the entire world and here comes that Florida rain again but that's okay because I'm having a great time yeah those are 100% head for binos Got some little baby green iguanas that are 100% heifer albino that just hatched out. We got a little margarita tortoise and a red foot tortoise that just hatched out too. Oh, absolutely cool. I mean, that's awesome to be here for eggs and babies. That's so cool. Take a look at guys. This is an Aldalbert tortoise. What an absolute sweetheart. Just like my girl Matilda, but a little bit bigger for sure but unbelievable. I tell you what, this place is absolutely incredible. Again, I believe they're trying to open September 28th. So if you guys are down in the Puna Corner area or anywhere in Florida or anywhere, even in the Southeast part of the country, I would definitely try to make it over to Iguanaland because this place is incredible. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, right over here, there's a playlist of some of the travel adventure stuff that I've done. On this side, do me a favor and hit that subscription button. It would mean the world to me, mean the world to her too. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.